What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. All you new subscribers, I'm Barbas. First of all, I want to thank you guys. Um, all you new subscribers, I've been watching you guys. There's a lot of new new people on the channel. I just want to thank you all. I'm going to do a giveaway to show my appreciation sometime this week. That video is coming up. I also want to let you guys know that I did set up a small store so if you guys are interested in any t-shirts or any merchandise the link should be below um if you guys want any stickers or anything is uh shoot me a message i can get you guys some stickers so i decided i'm gonna put the d16 uh engine on the back burner for maybe a few days a few weeks i'm not sure and i'm gonna start uh working on the body of the civic uh, my funds are a little bit low right now so i need like injectors um there's like a few little things that i need so i'm gonna put the list below if anybody wants to donate um any of those parts that maybe you have laying around in the garage or anything and you want to throw them at me i don't care if they're used i don't care if they're ebay if you want to donate the part i'll definitely use it um shoot me a message below and we'll figure out the shipping information all right, so now that we got that out of the way, um, let's get started on the Civic. So basically, you guys remember that I had removed the sunroof. If you haven't watched that video, you might have to go back, um, I don't know, 25, 30 videos back. And there's a video where I removed the sunroof. So I never put a cap on here. I ended up putting plastic when I moved. Um, the reason why I didn't do that is because uh, I was in the moving process and there was a lot of stuff going on. So I completely stopped on this. Um, the last thing that I was doing on the Civic was actually gutting my doors. If you guys are familiar with that. So yeah, um, the boat is in, and this car is gonna be the leather brown, the Rustolium leather brown. And before we could do that, we're gonna have to cap this. So basically, I did go to Home Depot and I bought a sheet a few days ago. I'm gonna show you guys. So this is the sheet that I bought right here. Basically what I'm planning on doing is laying it over over the sunroof. I'm gonna mark it. And then I'm gonna measure outside of that marking, maybe about this far, about an inch. And then we're gonna go ahead and cut it out. After we cut it out, we're gonna probably paint it uh like a flat black or a matte black. And then we're gonna bring it back up here. We're gonna pre-drill all our little holes all over the place. Once we do that, um, I'm gonna sand the whole roof and I'm gonna paint the roof leather brown. Then I'm gonna put the cap over it as soon as the roof dries. And that's how I'm gonna be doing that. All right, let's get started because it's getting kind of late. That's all I'm doing, just laying it over. Just like that. This whole lip looks kind of even right here. Let's check out the other side.
Doesn't look too bad. Looks like I got enough room in there. All right, so I think I'm gonna tape it down and then I'm gonna go from the inside and mark it with the marker. All right, so I got her pretty much taped down. So now I'm gonna go from the inside. And you know what, I'm gonna slap a piece of tape right here too. So I don't like how it's lifting up. All right, so this is what it looks like on the inside. And don't worry, I'm gonna seal all these edges from the top, and I'm also gonna seal it from the inside with some caulking. Thinking about just using uh, some regular house caulking for windows, some clear stuff, that should work just fine. So either way, take your marker, let's mark this whole edging. And remember, this isn't where you're gonna cut, because if you cut there, the sunroof is gonna fall right through. Well, this cap for the sunroof is just gonna fall right through. All right, so I got the mark down. Everything's outlined. I'm gonna go ahead, take off this tape, flip her around, and we'll see what we're dealing with. Oh yeah, before I take it completely off, let me show you guys what I did right here. I went ahead and I marked it inside and towards the front, so the front of the car. That way it gives me a reference which way the sunroof is. So I measured a, an inch from this edging. So basically what I did, took a little piece of cardboard, I measured an inch up to here, marked it, and then what I did is I lined it up with this line and then every few spots I put a little little dot so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these guys right here and these things are pretty sharp so what I'm gonna do is just connect all the dots all the way around and hopefully it's a pretty close cut so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna do that off camera right now so there it is I made one clean cut all the way around I'm gonna go test fit it right now all right so I just test fitted it and it looks good so I went ahead and I took it back to the table and I measured so basically first I found where the middle was which was exactly at 17 which are these two dots that you guys see and then from there I went across to right there to the end and then from here I started marking every inch every inch every inch all the way around and then from that inch I went up a quarter inch so that's where I'm gonna be drilling my holes this is aluminum uh, the rivets that I'm gonna be using are also aluminum that way it doesn't rust on me so I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill all these holes and then I'm gonna bring it back lay it on top of here and pre-drill the holes on the Civic itself so these are the rivets that I got these are the short rivets it calls for a 3 16 drill bit so I got that guy ready and I'm just gonna go ahead and start drilling all these little holes real quick. Let's go ahead and test one of these guys out. Make sure we do have the right size. A little bit tight but that's perfect all right I'm gonna continue drilling real quick so I just finished drilling the holes it looks really good to me I'm gonna go ahead and set it back on the car 
and pre-drill the holes on the Civic now. So I went ahead and I drilled the hole and then I put one here, then I put one here, and then from here I made my way out and I went ahead and I marked everything now. So we pull these guys out. So then all the spots are marked right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill all of them. And then after that, I'm gonna scuff this and paint it. And also I'm gonna scuff that and I'm gonna paint that. So every single hole has been drilled out. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scuff this whole roof. And basically, I'm gonna lay some, some brown. Once that brown dries up, I'm gonna throw a bead right here, all the way around. And then I'm gonna put my sunroof cap and we're gonna rivet it down. So I got myself some soapy water, some 320. And basically, like I said, I'm gonna start scuffing this. Everything's completely sanded and I went ahead and I washed it. I sanded it up to like around here. It's pretty much ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and lay a little bit of uh, tape, tape my edges up where I don't want any spray to go. So I got some of it taped up. I had to go to the store to get more uh, tape because I didn't have any. I'm gonna finish taping this and then I'm gonna show you guys how to mix the paint. So it's completely taped up now. The wind is starting to pick up a little bit. It's coming from that direction this way. So I went ahead and I laid an extra sheet at the bottom in case of any wind or anything so it doesn't get on the glass too much but everything looks pretty good i'm gonna go ahead show you guys how to mix the paint and then we'll get started with the compressor and the gun all right so for the paint this is what i'm using basically you're gonna put let me see Okay, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 16 ounces of paint in here and then I'm gonna add four more ounces of this stuff, some paint thinner. So I should end up at 20 ounces. Then I'm gonna stir it all in and that should be ready to go through the gun. I got a tack cloth so I can wipe the surface before I start painting, some gloves. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Just mix it real quick. So I just pour the paint in. It's exactly at the 16 ounces. So now I'm gonna add the paint thinner. Right around there. And there you go. <coughs> now I'm gonna mix it, stir it up I mean, and it should be ready to go. So I just went ahead and I emptied the whole thing in here. This is exactly about 16 ounces. That's how much this little cup takes. So now, let me close this lid right, guys. All right, sorry, I had to put you down so I closed the lid. Um, all right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test the pattern of it. Basically, I want a football shape. So I'm gonna bring the compressor back here and I'm gonna attempt to spray a little bit right here on this fence right here. And basically, a football shape. That's the shape I want out of the gun. All right, make sure you guys have a mask. 
basically make sure you guys have a mask because you don't want to inhale these fumes um so i'm gonna go ahead put my mask on and start laying this pattern down and once i get that pattern i'm gonna stop and i'm gonna use the tack cloth on the car and then i'm gonna go ahead and start spraying it That looks good. All right, so you guys saw the patterns. This is kind of what we're looking for, a shape like this, like a football. So my gun wasn't that off. Since I had used it already before, it was right around the same the correct area that we needed to be around. So I'm gonna move this uh, compressor, take it to where the car is, and then I'm gonna use the tech cloth. All right, so you guys want your first coat. I've said this before many times. Your first coat, very light. All you wanna do is make the surface tacky. That's, that's basically it. you want you want it to be see-through this might be a little bit thicker than what I usually do so since I laid it a little bit thicker what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a little bit longer then so there's a little bug on here already I'm gonna get some tweezers and try to pull that guy out. But um, basically, I'm gonna wait around 20 minutes and then I'm gonna lay my next coat down. So while we wait on that paint, we're gonna go ahead and paint our uh, sunroof delete black. It's got this plastic on here. I think I'm only gonna paint the top, I'm not gonna paint the inside part. And then what I'll do, any stickers that I get from any companies or any YouTuber that I get, I'll just, just stick it on there on the inside of the sunroof. So this is the paint that I got. Trim and bumper paint. Um, I like the way this stuff looks. So I'm going to go ahead and lay a really thin coat on this. And remember, this is just to make the surface tacky. There's no right or wrong way. As long as it's not too heavy, all you want to do is get it, prepare it. So when you do lay your, your thick paint, it doesn't get all crazy on you and starts to uh, run. That looks pretty good. I'm going to let it sit there 10 minutes and then I'll come back and lay a heavier coat. Second coat is on. It's starting to get darker. As soon as this uh, dries up a little bit, 
I'm gonna go ahead and lay a really thick, I'm gonna bomb it, a really thick coat. And that should be my final product right there. Um, for the roof, I still got another five minutes. Let me show you guys. So we got another five minutes and I'll go ahead and lay a second coat, a thicker coat. Basically for your second coat, you want complete coverage. So basically you want everything that is not covered to now be completely brown. And then after that dries, we'll do our third coat. And our third coat is when you really bomb it and whatever it looks like as you're bombing it, that's how exactly how it's gonna dry. So if you see like a little shadow or if you see some overspray, you need to knock that out, fan it out. Otherwise that's how it's gonna dry. Second coat is on. Everything's pretty even now. The next part I gotta do is lay my third coat and bomb it so I could get that gloss to really come out. Looks like this thing moved on me. Get a piece of tape and tape this thing back down. So the third coat is on. It's extremely glossy. I need to take that fender off. I'm gonna take the fenders off, the hood, the bumper, so I can get it all painted correctly. Um, the only thing that I didn't like is the cover. I'm gonna show you guys the cover that I made that I sprayed black. There's zebra striping, and I think it's because of the sun. It's pretty hot right now, so I think as I was spraying, it was just drying almost instantly. So I'm gonna have to respray this. So I'm gonna go to the store, get another rattle can, get some black. Either that or I'll get some uh, just black Rust-Oleum in the little uh, quart or whatever and run it through the gun. Might be easier, might be better. All right, so I just went to the store and I'm gonna attempt to spray this again one more time. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's got zebra striping going like this. I'm gonna attempt to get rid of that right now. I couldn't get the same paint. They were completely out of stock. And I wasn't about to be driving all over the place because I got to get this finished. Because supposedly uh, the rain's coming in tomorrow. So this has to be done. So I ended up buying this, some high heat, flat black. So I went ahead and I laid one coat. You can definitely see the zebra striping from the one coat I did. And I'm about to hit it with the second coat right now. The second coat is on. It's starting to look way better. You can see a little bit right here. But besides that, it looks way better. I'm gonna lay a third coat in about two or three minutes. Um, this stuff does dry really fast. That's what I like about this, this high heat stuff. Um, so I'm gonna wait two or three minutes and then I'm gonna lay another coat, a heavier coat. So I'm gonna go ahead and let everything sit for a few hours and then I'll come back and see how everything's doing. And I'll continue the video reassembling. So it's been a few hours and the stuff is completely dry. This doesn't look bad at all. I like it. Um, the roof over here, it did get little tiny particles, but that's normal since I'm outside or whatever. You do see little tiny little particles, but it still looks pretty good. Um, over here, I can see like if it's got like overspray, maybe like around this area. So I might have to like wet sand this side 
this area right here. But besides that, it looks pretty good. I like it. So this is what I'm gonna be using right here. It's all purpose, 100% silicone, windows, doors, attic, trim, flashing, weatherproof. Um, so basically it's for exterior. And according to this, it will not crack uh, or shrink or crumble. So this all should be good to put in there. So it says that it's gonna take 12 hours before it, it's exposed to water. And it's gonna take around three hours to dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started on it. And then I'll go to the store and get some more rivets. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip uh, maybe two or three rivets so I can have enough to go all the way around. So I got this guy in here now. Um, this is the tool I'm gonna be using. And here's the rivets. So basically what you do, if you've never used one of these, you take this and you find, you find the hole where it's gonna fit. So I already got the one. So basically these use on screw, these are three extra ones they use on screw and you screw it up here. So I got the one and basically you put this in the hole that you drilled out and then you slip this guy over and it snaps it. All right, so basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna put a bead probably on the inside right here. And then also I was thinking of me putting a bead like in front of this guy, like this. Just so water doesn't get in. I might connect it in between, small little bead. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This is what it looks like. I don't know. I don't want this to like squeeze out. I definitely don't want this shit to squeeze out. So I'm gonna be really careful right now putting that cover on. All right, so I tried doing it on camera to show you guys and I couldn't. But let me tell you right now, this shit's a bitch to do. You squeeze it twice and it pops. The first squeeze pulls it up, the second squeeze cuts it. When you're cutting it on the second squeeze, you gotta pull up. Cause if you leave it down, you'll squeeze, you'll, you'll cut it and you'll go into the, the part. So make sure if you guys use this to squeeze on the second squeeze, pull up and away. All right, so I just went to the store and I picked up some more rivets. Starting to look really good. I'm really liking the way how it's turning out. All right, so they're finally all on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this thing again. And basically on the inside, this is what it looks like on the inside. So basically I'm gonna go ahead and maybe put a little bit right here on each one of the rivets. And then I'm gonna caulk this whole edge, this whole thing all the way around because I don't want any leaks. So I went ahead and I did all of this. On the inside, I didn't do uh, some of these guys. I did some and some I didn't because they're kind of a pain to do. But hopefully water doesn't get in. Tomorrow will be the test because it's later on tonight. And I think this is going to be the end of the video. I am going to have a raffle sometime this week. I did order something. And as soon as it gets here, I'll go ahead and make a vi that video if you guys want some free stuff. Till my next video. Peace out. Stay Slater. Peace.